podcast not everyone's cup of tea to consume an entire podcast that's why welcome to the ranvi shows highlights channel drs clips subscribe and hit that bell icon what happens to me is every 3 months i hit like a wall in terms of creativity and hustle like a creative block i just stop working dude wow okay. and i have to go somewhere mm. i have to go and see goa or i have to go and yeah. see the mountains or i have to go and see another part of india or the world yeah. i spend a week or two there and i'm fa- i'm and i'm fine after that i come back yeah. and i'm back to working at maximum pace maximum creativity yeah. i'm actually in the middle of my peak performance <laughs> right now uh but in those phases where i just can't work my podcast become shittier my work becomes shittier i'm not able to write i'm not able to create this is great insight though that you have that uh, ability to step back and uh, realize that okay this is i am not going to be functioning at my best yeah. right now in layman's terms this is called having systems for your professional life mm. know yourself so well mm. that one you know your strengths and weaknesses and your weaknesses can be covered by your teammates okay. two know your own personal brain systems like i know 3 months is my mark sometimes in a worst case scenario i can stretch it to 4 or 5 months yeah. and those 4 or 5 months is not peak performance it's 80% performance mm. and then the 6 month i'm dead like if viraj calls me i say i don't want yeah. any brand deals i don't want to do more podcasts mm. fortunately in my peak performance what i figured out is if i'm in this peak which i am right now mm. you're my 30th podcast of this month this 31st oh. we recorded one before this yeah um So in my peak, I try recording as many podcasts as I can because I know that's my bread and butter. Podcasts are long forms of sure. content. I can cut it up into yeah. pieces yeah. and supply my Instagram with that. Supply okay. everything else with it. Okay. But podcasts are my main identity. So, what's your take on burnout? For me, this is this what is, I just described as right. burnout, bro. But it doesn't get worse than this. Yeah. You are able to stop no, and no. get back. It right? gets worse. I. Uh, um i've 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 struggled with self doubt in the past and that mm. was because of my childhood instances i've spoken about it on the show mm. my whole life is out there uh self doubt starts creeping up back into my head i'll call up mm. my inner circle and say i don't think i'm capable of doing this mm. i think i'm just like going to fail in life mm. uh it also makes me not just fear the future but fear the present certain levels of imposter syndrome come in in terms of when once i've reached that 3 month mark or 4 month mark i start thinking that i've not done anything in life right like uh i'm not where i want to be yeah. which is not true dude i am where i want to be which a fresh head is now telling you right um uh, then i uh end up like uh losing my temper like you know which i am a pretty stable guy i have a good control my anger because of meditation but it can happen uh in that 3 month post that 3 month mark where i tend to get angry or the other thing that happens is I start like sort of bringing my past traumas to the forefront. Like there is a breakup which I'm not over yet. It happened a while ago, yeah. over the girl completely. Sure. Not gonna go back. But uh, the the trauma of that particular breakup, there's infidelity involved and all that. That keeps coming to the forefront. I go to Goa. I wipe out my head. I get gratitude for life, and I come back to the present moment. Uh, I think there are too many joys associated with being single. But sometimes if your brain has a lot of gunk in it. Mm. you start uh highlighting all the small negatives and turning them into like larger uh yeah. negatives than they are i had this idea once about how we fall in love with the idea of someone mm. and we are hurt also by the idea of someone yeah um zakir khan had told me this right he had mm. said when i described this particular breakup to him he said that it sounds like you weren't in love with the girl but you were in love with the story mm. which is so true Exactly. So true. Exactly. I couldn't have said it better. Which is also why trauma works in that way that it's not that girl's picture that is going to trigger stuff. Mm. It is random things around it, some oh, situation yeah. that Reminds reminded you. you of that story. Mm. So it's that idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred uh, percent. How do I get over the girl? <laughs> <laughs> I'm over the girl. How do I get over the breakup uh, from a neuroscience perspective, dude? Because. Uh, sleep again has been helping me yeah. a lot. Like I feel when they say time heals, what they really mean is constant sleep heals. <laughs> uh, uh, from yeah. a neurology perspective, enough cycles of neuroplasticity heals. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah.